All right, in this video we'll be looking at uh, graphing circles and the equation that we'll be using to graph those circles are x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now the first thing we're going to need to do in order to graph a circle is find its center and the center can be found at h, k. All right, so to find the center we'll use h and k. Notice how they're opposites. Here we have x minus h, so we'll be using the opposite same thing with k. Notice it says y minus k in parentheses, so we'll be using the opposite of that value as well. Besides the center, we'll also need to know the radius of the circle, and the radius of the circle is going to be r. In other words, whatever the last number is that we have over here, we'll take the square root of that number to find the value of r, the radius. So again, to graph a circle, you need the center and the radius. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. All right, here's our first example. We've got the equation x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. The first thing that we're going to do is find the center. And in order to find the center, we're going to use h and k. h would be the opposite of the positive 1, which is negative 1. k would be the opposite of a negative 2, which is a positive 2. Therefore, the center of our circle is going to be at the ordered pair 1, negative 1, positive 2. So I'll go ahead and put a point at negative 1, positive 2, which is right here. That's going to be the center of our circle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the radius of our circle. And the radius of our circle can be found by taking the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Therefore, the radius of the circle is 3. So from the center, I'm going to go 3 to the right. I'll also go 3 to the left. I'll also go 3 above the center. I'll go 3 below the center. At this point I have 4 points. What I'm going to do is connect these 4 points making my circle. So this is the circle for the equation. x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. Okay, example number two, we've got x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 25. In order to graph this circle, the first thing we need to locate is our center. So the center is hk. So h is going to be the opposite of our negative 3, which is positive 3. k is going to be the opposite of our positive 2, which is a negative 2. So the center of our circle would be at the ordered pair 3, negative 2. So I'm going to put a point at 3, negative 2, which would be right here. That's going to be the center of our circle. The next thing I need to do is find the radius. And we can find the radius by taking the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5, which means from the center we're going to move left and right 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll also move up and down from the center 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once we have these four points, we can connect those four points, graphing our circle. So this is the circle for the equation. x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 25. Okay, example number three, we have the equation x squared plus y squared equals four. First thing we need to do is locate our center. Now notice in this equation, we don't have a h or a k. When the equation is written like this, the center of our circle is going to be at the ordered pair zero, zero. It's right at the origin. So let's go ahead and put a dot at the origin. This is going to be the center of our circle. Next thing we need to do is find the radius of our circle. And we can do that by taking the square root of four. And the square root of 4 is 2. So what we're going to do is from the center, we're going to move to the right 2, to the left 2, up 2, and down 2. Connect these four points. And this makes our circle. So this is the circle for the equation. x squared plus y squared equals 4. Number 4, we have the equation x squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 36. First thing we're going to do is locate the center of our circle. The center for this circle is going to be located at the order pair 0, positive 2. So we're going to come over here and find the order pair 0, positive 2. That would be right here. 
Now we need to find the radius of our circle. We can find the radius of the circle by taking the square root of 36, which is 6. So from the center, we're going to move 6 to the right. We're going to also move 6 to the left. We're going to move 6 up. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're also going to move 6 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once we have these four points, we can connect these four dots, making our circle. So this is the circle for the equation x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 36. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. We have the equation x minus 3 squared plus y squared equals 25. We'll start by finding the center of our circle. And the center of this circle is going to be at 3, 0. So we'll come over here and find the ordered pair 3, 0. And there it is. Now we're going to find the radius. And the radius of the circle can be found by taking the square root of 25, which is 5. So what we're going to do is from the center, we're going to move 5 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll also move 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll move 5 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll move 5 down. Once we have these four points, we can connect the dots, making our circle. So this is the circle for the equation x minus 3 squared plus y squared equals 25.